fishing new lakes or lakes that you've never fished before is always exciting or fishing a lake that maybe you haven't fished in 10, 15, 20 years. It's always exciting to go look and see places where you haven't been. How in the world do you go about finding fish or knowing even how deep to fish when you go to a strange lake? Good morning, guys and girls. May 8, May 8, reading from a Catch A Better Life book on the Catch A Better Life channel on YouTube. If you've not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to it right now. Uh, over 28,000, some of the finest people in the world on there. Um, we also have we post this every day at 5 o'clock, 5 a.m. We don't do them at 5 a.m., but we post them at 5, 5 a.m. Central Time on our Facebook page also. Our Facebook page, Jimmy Houston Outdoors, all capital letters, all capital letters. Over 660,000 people on that, on that. And we also have the printed edition on there. If you want your own copy of Catch a Better Life, you can get it at jimmyhouston.com if you want it personalized and autographed. I'll be happy to do that for you. You can get it at Bass Pro and Cabela's and Hobby Lobby and Barnes and & Noble and Books of Me and all those places. We have a scripture for every day, a devotional for every day, and a fishing tip for every single day. Sometimes more than one fishing tip. We're looking at Daniel 10, 12. You remember Daniel? Daniel in the lion's den. That's right. That same Daniel. Do not fear, Daniel, for from the first day that you set your heart to understand and to humble yourself before your God, your words were heard. That's a pretty comforting deal right there to Daniel. How about the rest of us? We're often asked, what's the first thing you do or look for on a strange lake? Or even, where do you start on a lake that you never fished before? Where do you start fishing? One really easy place to start is to turn over a few rocks around the launch ramp and check the color of the crawfish. That's right. You get ready to put your boat on, just turn over a few rocks. There's always rocks around riprap, around a, a boat launch, usually some riprap there. Turn over some of those smaller rocks, catch a crawfish, look and see what color it is. That'll tell you a, a big thing right there. Another one is to simply drive around in your boat while your partner's parking the truck and watch your fish finder and see how deep the shad or the bait fish are. Now, you know what color lures you should be using, and you also know how deep to fish. That's just a really simple deal. This is before you even make a cast. It works everywhere you go, uh, if you're at the time of the year where crawfish are out. But the shad deal, looking for bait fish, looking for the right depth, that's a real quick, easy tip. If those shad are around seven, eight, nine feet, you need to fish seven, eight, nine feet and shallower. It's exactly what you do. But what's the first thing to do when we approach God? And we should actually be approaching God every single day of our lives, several times throughout the day. We should be approaching God. Today's verse tells us that the first thing to do to have Almighty God play close attention to us, to you and me, when we pray, is to humble ourselves before God. We humble ourselves before God. It says right here, Do not fear, Daniel, for from the first day you set your heart to understand and to humble yourself. We humble ourselves before God. We humble ourselves before God. It's going to make a huge difference in our prayers. You know, I remember one place in the Bible where Jesus was watching people put their, their money, basically put money in the offering plate. And, uh, and, and one, one sinner was praying and he said, Oh Lord, I'm, I'm, I'm unworthy of you. I'm just a poor sinner. And, and he was just down on his hands and knees praying and crying out to God to helping him and telling God how much he needed God's help. He's desperate. Another guy was a righteous purchase. He said, oh God, I, I praise you that I'm not like the, this poor sinner right here that uh, I pay my tithes a 10% of everything. I fast twice a week. I do this, I do that. You know, self-righteous is what he was. And Jesus himself said, I tell you what, the man that humbled himself before God, the man that admitted he was a sinner and repented of those sins, that's what God's looking for. Today, let's just simply be humble before God. Let's just simply be humble for God, before God, set our hearts completely on Him, put Him first in our lives today. And I believe, I believe without a doubt, blessings, blessings will follow. Here's our tip for today. Heavy deep water structures usually hold bluegill, crappie, and bass. Heavy. I'm not talking about like concrete or steel or something like that, although that's really good deep water structures. Heavy cover, big, you know, cover that just lights your fish locator up, lights your fish finder up. You go over there and you just like, there's, there's lots of stuff down there. That's the kind of stuff you want to look for in really deep water. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one. And remember, I sure do love you.